I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at how to sync your Fitbit Charge 5 with your phone. So first we're gonna have our phone that we're gonna use. We're gonna have the Fitbit app installed on the phone, and we will need to have set up our Fitbit Charge 5. So I'm assuming you've done those steps already. Um, we've got our Fitbit Charge 5 watch over here. It's uh, charged up and ready to go. You can see if I double tap the screen, we're going to um, wake the watch up. So our first step is to do that, to wake the watch, make sure that it's ready to go. And then we're gonna open up the Fitbit app on the phone. And if you haven't already added your um, your Fitbit, you're going to want to set up the device and, uh, and hook up your Fitbit Charge 5. But you'll notice as soon as I open that screen, as I have set up my Charge 5, it's gonna say syncing there. And it's going to go ahead and sync with the watch. They just need to be nearby and it should go ahead and complete that sync operation. So that's the first way you can just go into your accounts. It's gonna automatically um, go ahead and sync up any connected watch there. There's another way to do it though. And this is the one I use the most. If you're on the home screen of the Fitbit app, drag down from the top and then release and that's going to go ahead and do a sync operation right away. Now you might get this message, sync is taking a while, sit tight. We can wait it out, usually it will go ahead and sync up, no problem. But if it does hang, the thing I find is best is to first close the app. So we're gonna drag up from the bottom of the screen, we get the app up here, then just swipe it out of the way. Now go into the settings on your phone, we're gonna go over to Bluetooth. And we're gonna go ahead and switch Bluetooth off up here. Good. Switch it on again. And then you can see I've got my Charge 5 on here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect that, make sure it's connected up. And now we can see our Charge 5 shows as connected here. Relaunch the Fitbit app. And now when we swipe down again, in order to sync, our sync should go much faster. There we go, we're all synced up. We get our steps and other data for the day. Now, one final sync option, we can also go back into that account screen. Um, if it's synced recently, it's not gonna automatically sync. So let's go into the charge five. We can scroll down in the settings and then we can press sync now. And that's a good way to force a sync to have it go um, right away if you want to make sure that your watch is connected properly. Again, it'll take, you know, 30 seconds or so if it's connected up properly. And when it goes back to just saying sync now, we know we're synced and we are good to go. So that's a nice way to force a sync as well as using that simpler method of just dragging down from the top when you're in the app there. Um, now the best thing though is that you don't actually have to consciously decide, okay, I'm gonna sync up my, uh, my Fitbit Charge 5. It's good to do it manually if you find that it's not syncing or you go into your app and there's no uh, data in there or anything. But um, the nice thing with the Fitbit Charge 5 is as long as it's near your phone on a, uh, a regular basis throughout the day, you're gonna find that it's going to sync automatically to your uh, phone throughout the day. And so your stats should stay up to date, even if you don't do that manual sync. However, if you uh, find that it's not updating, go ahead and use any of those methods to sync up manually, and you can get all your data right there into the Fitbit app.